Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing a couple of the new Rare Beauty products that I picked up. So I have the Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder, and then I also picked up the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Sticks. was pretty curious about these. There haven't been a lot of new launches lately and I've been dying to do a review. I miss reviewing makeup. So I got these and I am so excited. So if you want to see my thoughts and just keep watching. I'm at a weird stage of makeup right now, so excuse what we have going on, but I have my foundation and concealer on, no powder yet. Yeah, I will have all the details of what I'm wearing down below if you are curious, though right now I don't think I'm selling it too very well. So these items are available right now on Sephora as well as the Rare Beauty website. I will have a link down below if you are interested in picking any of these products up. Since I don't have any powder on my face, let's start off with these bronzer sticks. Now I wasn't too sure of what shade I should get so I got two shades so that will be fun so these guys are going to be $23 each which I think is a great price point for Sephora this is supposed to give you a quick and visible sun kissed glow with a smooth seamless second skin finish just swipe on blend and go apparently this also is vegan and cruelty free if you need to know that they're going to come in the typical rare beauty style box they do have a 12 month shelf life which is pretty standard for a cream product and are made in Italy. And here is what the packaging of the product itself is going to look like. It looks like a little chubby stick. And then you open it up and here is the product. It is twist up, I believe. Yep. So the two shades that I picked up were Happy Soul, which is the one that's in my hand, and then Always Sunny. There are five shades available, which for a bronzer stick I think is decent. So let's swatch Happy Soul. Ooh, these feel super creamy, like glid on almost a little too easy. Ooh, I like that this is a snap closure, by the way. So if you do pick this up, make sure you listen for that snap to make sure that the product's longevity is secured. The other shade that I picked up was Always Sunny. You can see this one is definitely warmer. Happy Soul is more my speed. I think this one's a bit dark for me. So Happy Soul is a light brown with cool undertones. And then Always Sunny is a rich caramel with neutral undertones. I don't know what called to me to buy this color, but it looks pretty dark, but that's okay. <laughs> Just for reference, I brought out some other cream bronzers that you might have to help you with comparison. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. Tan Lines is definitely a lot lighter. I have my Tande Chanel. This is the original formula and color, by the way. Oh, wow. So the colors that I got from Rare are actually going to be a lot darker than what I'm used to. Next up, I have the Huda Beauty Tantor in Fair. This one's one of my favorite colors, and it's a little bit more neutral than Happy Soul. Uh, in terms of texture, it definitely feels the closest to the Huda Beauty. And then the last one that I have that I'm going to compare is Butter Biscuit from Fenty Beauty. That's Butter Biscuit. So none of them really look like any of the shades that I got. It's like these two are probably the closest. The Huda Beauty, I would say, is probably the closest in terms of consistency and finish just for reference. Let's get to applying. Let's see. I, just the way they felt, they felt really good, so I'm excited. I do not have a lick of powder on my skin. This is normally how I choose to do things when I am using something like this. So let's start off with the lighter shade here. I'm going to apply how I would normally apply, which I have two ways that I normally apply. So the first way, we're just going to draw her on, really gliding on nicely here. Ooh, I love this shade. If you're around my skin tone, Happy Soul is going to leave you very happy. And I'm using a BK Beauty 106 brush, and it's blending out very easily. Working out better with wiping motions as opposed to padding motions. You can definitely pat it out, though, if you're patient, which I do recommend because it doesn't move the product underneath. But... Let's see how fingers do. Oh yeah, it's warming up with the fingers really nice. This is a beautiful blend, you guys, I must say. Love how this product 
blended. I'm going to try it with my other favorite technique. So the other way that I like to apply is directly on a sponge and patting it onto my skin. So we're going to do that now. I'm just using a Shop Miss A sponge. It's only a dollar. It's bomb.com. So I have a little bit of that on here. And this also is beautiful. So this product is so malleable that you can really apply this whatever way you want. It's very versatile. You can totally blend it in with your fingers. You can apply it straight to the skin out of the stick and use a brush to blend it out or a sponge whatever you wish so whatever your application style is I like how smooth it's working out so really like the application on this wow okay and it does look like second skin this is beautiful I love a bronzer stick that has this type of consistency oh I'm so happy okay let's use a darker one now always sunny probably not the color that I needed but I guess we'll get some extra depth in here so I'm gonna focus this right where I want the extra shadow and I'm also gonna put just a little bit on my finger and we're gonna contour with this shade now this is a bit warm for a contour shade but it's fine happy soul probably would be better for contouring but it's it's fine i blend it out beautifully on my cheek and you guys have seen that girl on tiktok where she like puts this all over i'm not gonna do that but i'll just put it right there <laughs> subtlety okay let's blend it out i'm gonna use my bk beauty brush because this is my favorite and I just want to show you if you have patience and you want to pat it out. It will get there pretty easily. It does get there pretty easily. I am slightly swiping though because the product is staying a little bit put. But I'm being extra careful as well because this is a dark shade. Okay, so you can see there is a little bit of a dry down to it. So if you let it set, it's not moving, which is good. But then you apply a little bit more pressure, a little bit more sweepies and it blends right out very very beautiful and then let's just swipe it out on my nose okay 23 bucks i'm very very happy with this formula i think it's really really beautiful rare beauty did a great job with this i'm gonna pay attention to longevity today but this has every quality of a cream bronzer that i really like and i think a lot of you guys are gonna like it i think this is a great cream bronzer product for beginners especially beginners to contour because it's so easy to use you guys know i love my makeup by mario i love the tones he picked but i prefer this formulation this one is definitely more easy to use more easy to apply however you wish i'm a fan of this and i like the colors so so far so good just realized i forgot this <laughs> okay this shade is a bit warm it's gonna be beautiful on t medium tan skin tones okay let's get into what i've been waiting for so that i can finish my crazy makeup we have the always an optimist soft radiant setting powder now this is 22 dollars. it is a dollar less than the cream bronzer this has a 12 month shelf life and it's also made in italy so there are also five powders in here i picked up the shade light medium which is the second to lightest powder and it has the very simple sleek and clean rare beauty packaging you twist open and then you have a very interesting component here so what you do is you i believe yeah you move this and then the powder is going to come out the sifter here i like this this keeps everything very clean when you're done you can just cover it back up different but still quite functional so i actually really like this this is a talc free loose setting powder that visibly smooths blurs and controls shine for a natural finish and all day comfort it's supposed to give you a light natural finish now this shade light medium i think it might be a bit dark yeah okay so if you're my shade, which is a light medium, um, the lightest shade I think would have been best. Let me swatch this for you. Let's see how it acts over my hand. Oh, okay. It actually pulls. Yeah. I don't know. This shade might work for me. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to get some more in the cap. To set my face recently, I've been using the Blinged Brush F5. Let me just make sure all of my creases are all blended out. Let's give this one a try. I wish I would have gone with the lightest shade because this definitely deepens my under eyes a little bit. There is a very, very subtle sheen to it. Uh, it's not like a glow or anything, but there's a little bit of reflective particles in here. 
I would say, which isn't my favorite. If I want my powder to have a little bit of radiance to it, I want it to be more glowy as opposed to just flat out being able to see those reflective particles because that is causing right here to emphasize a little bit of texture, but it's not bad. Like it looks good, it looks soft. Because it's winter, my skin's been extra picky with the powders that I put on top, so I'm not mad at it. Let me try the other side using my sponge just to see if that makes a difference because I like to put a little bit in the cap and then just press it on. I think that this was a prettier application. I think it looks a little bit smoother than using the brush and I'm not using too much powder to do this. It's just a different way of application that I think leaves the skin looking a little bit more airbrushed. It looks pretty smooth on the skin though. Overall, when I take a step back, I am liking what I see. I just got the wrong shade, so light medium is not for me. <laughs> I'd go with the lighter shade next time. But the finish looks nice and soft. It says it does have a natural finish. I do agree with that. I'm not in love with the finish, but I think as the day goes on, it's going to settle in quite pretty. So let me finish the rest of my makeup, get my life together, and I'll be back to show you everything. Okay, so here is the final look. I'm not going crazy with makeup today because I have stuff to do, but let's go over my final thoughts of these products. So the number one thing that I do recommend from this video is the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. These are legitimately really, really nice, very blendable, very malleable. If I notice anything bad with wear, I will put it in the description box down below for you guys, or I'll pin the comment, we'll see. But if you don't see anything, that means I didn't notice anything bad about it. And I stand by what I said right now, where this must have $23.00 really great, malleable, creamy, super easy to use, super versatile bronzing sticks. Very impressed with these. The powder, on the other hand, it's not a must have for me. I'm going to continue playing with it as I continue to use it. Maybe my opinions will change, but to me, it's just a nice powder. I do notice that it did blur the skin and set and everything, but I don't think it's anything amazing. I'm still going to reach for my Huda Beauty powder and my Maybelline Loose Fit Me powder over this one. I think it's a nice addition to their line. I don't think there's anything bad about it. I just wish I went with a lighter color, but it's pretty. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Did you pick these products up? Let me know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.